All right, today I got the beetle pulled inside because it's a little cold outside. Um, it's in my screen, I do screen printing and embroidery for business. We've got everything crammed into one space here, but uh, it's winter, so got the beetle indoors so that we can work on it, putting the new suspension kit on it, and we'll be doing that here in just a minute. Um, so I mentioned I got a screen print shop. At some point, I'm probably gonna do some t-shirts and be selling those on, the, on my site, so I'll give you that information at a later date, but anyway, um, as soon as I get my son here with some of the equipment, we're gonna get going on it. I'm gonna kick All right, got a bunch of the parts in. I got the struts, shocks, springs, spacers. Got the car inside here, getting ready to get started. Have a little bit of trouble getting this one back tire off. It's seized up, but we'll get it. And so what we're gonna do is the back first, lift the back. And so we'll be back when we get the tires off. These two at the top are 16 mils. Crack those loose. Get the bolts in a tiny spot. And there's that. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much free after that. This one at the bottom should also be a 16. I think I'm going to need a pair of pliers for the other side. I'm going to need a pair of pliers for this side. They're in that box right there. Vice grips or something. All right. All right, rear shock is off. And now we're taking the spring out, right? After we undo the other side shock. Oh, we gotta undo the other side. Then we'll get the new shocks in here, put those on. All right, we're putting new spacers on. Go down here, and that's gonna. The spacers alone are gonna lift it an inch, and then the springs, in combination with the new shocks, are supposed to lift it two and a half total inches. All right, both springs are out. There's one of them laying on the floor. Grab one of the new springs and show the difference here. So there's the old spring compared to the new spring. So that'll help lift it up. All right, so we're getting the shock. So weird, I've always done this without new a special shock. tool. Let's just get a rag. New springs on there. Vice grip. Tighten the vice grip. And make sure to like. All right, so new, new shock and spring is in. Now we're gonna go over and do the other side. Okay, hey, working on the other side. Springs on the floor there. Shock is right there. Somebody's gonna tell us this is the wrong way to do it. <laughs> difference. All right, there's the rear lifted. Definitely a difference. A lot more fender well room. And right height back here. That's cool. Going to do the front next. Or All right, one thing you're probably going to want to do before you get started on your front suspension, um, putting new springs on the struts, is go to a local auto parts store and use their loaner tool program to get a set of spring compressors. It'll make it a lot easier to get the springs on these. So do that. Um, usually what they'll do is they charge you what it costs for the product but when you take it back they give you a refund so it's a good good thing to do if you need to if you need to use some now if you can't get a hold of some which we have had problems in the past where all of them are rented out um, you can take ratchet straps put a ratchet strap on both sides you wrap it around you know the the band around a couple times you can ratchet them down that works too so that's an option all right so Needs starting front. the sun, front suspension changeover Got the tire off. What we're gonna end up doing is changing the, the strut out and the spring out, and all this assembly will be new. And then we're gonna put spacers on it. So we'll work on getting that off, and we'll be back in a minute. 
So I will say that um, in order to get to your the top of your struts, you got to take your windshield wipers off, and you got to take this plastic piece out, and then you're gonna get an impact wrench and undo your struts at the top here. always how I've done it all right so old strut is out and now we're putting the springs the new springs and spacer on the new strut system which will go back in the car so if you want to see a detailed um, video of how to put all this together there are videos on eBay this isn't my main focus on doing this car it's just to show kind of the process and the end result more more so all right, lift is on the front with new uh, struts, struts and springs, and then here's the other side. So now the step, next step is getting the wheels on it, and we're going to head over to Les Schwab and get those done, and I'll be back with the wheels. All right, so now that the lift is on, um, what we're going to do is get new tires. Now, what I'm going to do to avoid clearance issues back here is um, I've done some research on this and found that a 215-65 R16s is looking like the best option. Um, it's not going to be too big of a tire so that it has clearance issues. And then also what that's going to do is um, allow the car to push that bigger bigger tire a little better so all right there's the completed lift with new tires so riding quite a bit higher than it was originally got some uh Ended up with uh, 215 65R16s, front and rear, and the clearance is fine, both front and rear. Not going to have any rubbing or anything, any issues like that, so looking good. So that is the project. So from the back, thing looks pretty high. It's way more uh, noticeable in the back than it is the front. But the intent was to be able to go out on dirt roads without getting hung up on rocks and stuff or, or rots, and so that'll definitely serve its purpose. So, be adding a rooftop tent in the spring, uh, maybe a few other things. So, anyway, thanks for watching.